Hello, today I will show you how to install Arch on an old laptop and I will use this small USB drive. I will show you how to download Arch ISO, then record it onto this uh, USB drive and after that we will install Arch using the script from ChrisTitus.com website directly from this one. And here you can see there is a one liner bash curl L ChrisTitus.com Arch Titus. So I will use it to install Arch and Chris says that um, you can install uh, Arch uh, within two minutes. I agree, but if you have a fast drive, or SSD or NVMe, a lot of RAM and fastest connection, uh, really fast connection, um, because if you have a broadband or a fiber channel connection, uh, of course, you need to understand that all those um, packages are downloaded during the installation. So, um, the speed of the installation uh, depends on the speed of the internet and speed of your hard drive. That's the reason. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I will put this small USB drive uh, directly to my laptop and I will use the D command to um just install um, the iso actually to to record and to copy the content of the iso directly to the usb drive but before i will do this i would like to show you how we can work with this so um first of all we need to download the arch uh, iso so this is something that is uh, really important without this you will not be able to proceed so what you need to do, you should look for Arch uh, download, right? And look for um, something like Arch uh, Linux downloads and click on it. And uh, then scroll down to find your country. I mean, uh, the best option is to use a mirror uh, that is uh, close to the place where you live or actually where you want to download uh, the ISIS, so where your laptop or desktop is located. So in my case it will be Poland, so I will scroll down to the Poland and I will use this one for example, we'll see it working. Yes, it is, and there is an ISO. So what you need to do, you just need to click on ISO to download this ISO file. I already did it, so I have this file downloaded, and if I will open my Dolphin and I will go to my downloads directory, here you can see I have an Arch downloaded, so there is um, ISO that I can uh, just use to uh, record in on my uh, USB drive and how I can do that I can use Balena Etcher but I will not do this um, instead I will just use the command simple dd so uh, run as sudo because you need a privileged access uh, level and then bs equals 4 megabytes if uh, and you need to provide a full path so in my case it's a home Adrian downloads um, Arch Linux um, then you have off so there is a path to a USB drive and then conf equals fsense of flux equals direct and status progress because we want to see the progress of this command so I will click and now and you should see exactly what is going on there so it is um, uh, just recording the content of the ISO directly to the USB drive and usually it takes about two minutes so I will just um, uh, get rid of my camera and then you will be able to see the progress so you can see Arch is just on the USB drive and I can click on this uh, device to, to see and I can mount it, I can download it. Um, yeah, so actually uh, this uh, Arch ISO is uh, on the 
USB drive and if I will click it here you can see the content of it and it contains Arch directory, boot, EFI and uh, two uh, files, uh, e so EFI, right? And 32-bit uh, and 64-bit. And that it actually, so I will just eject this and I will close this and after that I need to switch to my old laptop so I will show you this in a moment how to make it work I mean how to install Arch on an old laptop so what you see now it's a BIOS of my old laptop and now I will try to switch to the boot section and I will change the order to make it work so I will move up USB HDD this leaf search is my USB drive and now I will just um, save and exit changed and here we go you should see the progress there so basically um, what is actually now uh, happening um, the uh, USB drive is up and right there and you can uh, boot up from USB and after that you can choose Arch Linux install medium uh, so I will choose this one of course you can also uh, run it with speech so I will click the first one and now it will boot but this is something like um, just a kind of a command prompt that allows you to install Arch so it is booting up uh, to the command prompt and after that you can run the bash script from chrisTitus.com website and thanks to this you will be able to achieve your goal and you will be able to see um, the progress of the installation script on the screen now it's the the screen is black for a moment but it is um, running in the background so uh, you should see in a moment uh, everything on the screen and you should see the progress uh, and it should boot up properly Okay, you can see it's booting. So it took a while because it's probing the hardware in the beginning. And after that, when it will detect everything properly, it will boot up without any bigger issue actually. Um, and within, uh, I think 30 seconds or less, we should see the command prompt and we should be able to proceed with the installation. Okay, it's fine now and now i will just type uh, so i will move a little bit uh, this way and i will turn off camera for a moment and i will just type the commands go So what you can see here, I typed uh, sewer bash uh, and then sewerl dash uh, l chrisTitus.com ash titus and now I will hit enter and it should download the packages and the script should run and it should work without any bigger issue. However, um, you need to understand that in this case, the installation will take much longer than two minutes. Okay, so provide a username and then a password. Okay. 
and here you need to provide just a host name. And here you can use a graphical environment or you can install the server version. The version uh, server is very minimal and it contains only necessary packages. It even doesn't contain the OpenSSH. So after the installation, if you want to connect this machine through the SSH, you need to install OpenSSH package and turn on SSH daemon. Okay, select the first because this is the hard drive and the second one is my USB and yes and then I can choose EXT uh, as a file system and yes and yes the keyboard and that it this is the whole installation so after that it will run the installation and it will not ask you for any other uh, thing and it will not provide any additional question but it will just install Arch on your machine. Okay, you can see it's installed, so basically now you need to type reboot to reboot the machine and it should boot up to the arch and you should see nice menu and after that you should be able to proceed. But the problem is that you need to go to the, uh, okay, control of delete and you need to go to BIOS to um, change the boot order. Here we go. And now this. I will do this. And save and exit. And yeah, this is something that should do the job. Right, Arch Linux, hit enter, and it should boot up properly. That's it. This is everything actually um, what you need. And the system is installed and it will boot very quickly. And after that, what you need to do, you need to install the open SSH, right? So basically, sudo pacman dash capital S open SSH, hit enter, provide the password because I'm using sudo, hit enter, resolving dependencies, confirm, install open SSH, it's done, clear the screen, and now sudo systemctl enable sshd and sudo systemctl start sshd okay You can see it's up and running and now we can check the IP address.
Okay, 10.10.0.113. So I will try to connect now uh, via the SSH. Okay, here we go. Command line, and that's it. I'm in Arch. And I will confirm this IPA exactly 10.10.0.113. So I was able to connect without any issue. Everything is up and running. So I can try to just update the system sudo pacman two and it should do the job here we go there's nothing to do and of course if you want to you can install uh, something like vim um glances htop bashtop and many other things you want to here we go Confirm. All of it is installed, and now we can run htop, for example. Here we go. I will quit this, and then bash top. It should run. Nice. And also glances. Similar. Here we go. It's working. And we can use editor vim test. Here we go. It's working. Hello. Something like this. And yeah, you can you can uh, make it work this way. And it is very minimal because if you will run sudo systemctl uh, it will show you this and if you will run status it will show you this so very very minimal um, installation uh, it has only sshd you can see journal d is working system d login d udev d and user d dbd and user slice and that's it actually there is nothing more here um i can try to run it up using less okay less is not installed so we can try to sudo pacman less here we go and now we can run the command you can see not very much only those processes that you can see on the screen and that it there's nothing here more and everything is up and running there's no problem with this and cd var log very minimalistic, minimalistic system and free h two gigabytes of ram so actually this is a quite old laptop from my machines this is some kind of laptop from my wife um, so I pick it, it up and try to install the Arch on it and it's running so basically it's working I hope you enjoyed this video so thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye